Before we get into to the Olympic qualifying stuff, can you tell me a little bit about your backstory, how you made it from Angola to America and started to play basketball? Oh, yeah. Um, I started playing basketball when I was like seven, eight years old. It was in my country, Angola. And then I moved to Portugal when I was like 13. When I moved to Portugal, I was like, I would stay, I would stay hoping I stay keep playing basketball, the club Benfica. And then my brother, my older brother, came to the States on a scholarship to Montverde Academy. And then he moved to West Oaks Academy, where I graduated from. And then I sent my videos to the coaches there, and they liked me a lot. So that's when they sent me a scholarship from, uh, to the, to the, from the States to Portugal so I could come out to the States. Uh, and then that's when everything started. Went to, the, went to West Oaks, did um, nine grade. All my high school career there, and then got it done, and then went to Kansas State. Has it always been a dream for you to represent your country, though? Yeah, yeah I've always been a dream to represent my country because uh, I always played for my country growing up, under, under 16, under 19, under 18, and now I'm in a, in a senior team. What's the competition like over there so far? Uh, it's been it's been good. It's been good. It's tough though, cause I'm the only one that doesn't play pro yet. I'm on a team where everybody plays pro somewhere else overseas. So it's been it's been fun. Been learning a lot, different stuff. Is it good to be back closer to home for a change? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> when was the last time you got to go home? When was the last time you ran Angola? Oh, I was just home before we came to. Spain, I was just home for two weeks. Then we got, we got all everybody together for the, for the national team. We practiced. We had a couple of practices there, and then that's when we leave, left my country to come to Spain. How about before that, though? How long did you go without visiting oh, Angola? Before that was like three years. Three years? Yeah, it was three years. It was a long time. Even though, even when I – now I went back to my country for two weeks, I barely see my family because I was – with the team working out a lot, so I probably saw my family like three or four times. Yeah. How cool was how cool was that to see them again? Yeah, it, was, it was definitely good. It was definitely it was a long time before seeing them, so it was definitely good. To see them, my mom was smiling, crying a little bit. Yeah. So what did you what did you learn so far? Uh, you know, during qualifiers, you know, and now that you're a part of the team, what are the things you've learned over there? Uh, just, I'm I'm learning each and everything, each and every day with these guys. They are older. They all know stuff. I'm just here to learn, like learn things on and off the court, not just on the court because we are growing. I'm growing with these guys because I'm going to stay with these guys until like late August. So I'm just going to take everything I can so I can like, they, they can, they, they learn from me too. So it starts that I didn't know before I'm learning right now. Yeah, I'm just taking everything step by step every day, you know. You're training in Barcelona right now. Have you ever been there before? And what do you think of that place? Uh, no, I've never been here before. It's, it's, it's good. It's definitely good. I mean, I used to live in Portugal. It's like an hour away from here, but uh -huh. I've never been here before. But, like, it's definitely good. It's a good city. Yeah. I'm, I like it, though, so far. Are you missing your team back at home at all in Manhattan? Yeah, I talk to them almost every day. <laughs> talk to Coach Weber just like every day, just to make sure I'm good, make sure them good. Be watching them working out. Yeah, I'm excited to come back too. Dalton, how much have you learned from this whole uh, opportunity to play with these guys? Um, scale one to ten, I can say I learned like I'm on, I'm on ten because like it's just like learning different styles every day. Like I said. Things I didn't know before, I know now, but I'm still learning every day. So I'm definitely learning a lot. I'm enjoying these guys because they all we all different. We all play different teams. We all live in different cities, different different countries. So it's definitely a good experience right now learning with these guys. Coming out of last season, what were the things that you knew you had to improve upon with your game? Uh, to be honest, I came. I talked to Coach Weber about that. I know the things I had to improve, but at the same time, I want I, I wanted to improve everything, but especially my left hand and my and my shot was definitely off last season, so that's why I had to take on a defensive end, be the best defender on the team, and then make plays like I, I can make plays and score when I had to score 
my decision I have really have to improve my jump shot, my left hand, and then the rest is gonna come. Well, what type of things are you doing to improve that left hand? Uh, just everything like uh, layups, floaters, uh, dribbling every day, um, skills wise, dribbling with my coach every day. Just, just do everything with left hand that I couldn't do before. Yeah. Have you seen your? Have you noticed improvement in that area yet? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, cause like this practice with the, with, the, with these pros right here, I be scoring in my left hand. So that's when I see like I can really score now in my left hand, and I'm still improving. So yeah, and they are bigger bodies, stronger, take the contact, still score with my left hand. Yeah, it being it's being fun. What What are your expectations once the qualifying tournament begins? Um, I mean, you're going up against some really good players here. Do you think you guys can hold your own against them? Yeah, we got a definitely good team. We got, I don't know if you all heard the, the players we got, but we got definitely players playing overseas and like and we're good and good leagues. I feel like we can, we can, I mean, we just got to get that and play. We got, I feel like we got a good team. We got a good squad. The other guys really strong. They really can play defense and can't really score the ball. So I'm, I'm really confident about this team. We just got to get there and then, and just play and compete. And see how it goes. What What's your role been with them? Are you Are you starting? Are you coming off the bench? Are you carrying everybody's bags? What's a, what's, <laughs> what's your job with with all these guys? Um, I'm playing the point right here because coach really like the way I I create for others, and then I can score the ball when I yeah when I when I can. So we played two games right here. I came off the bench both games because. The other guys is playing in front of me, but like we basically playing the same minutes. But I don't know how it's gonna be because Coach says he's gonna make changes when we get there because I really did I did well these two games. So we just gotta see. Bruno Fernando is a guy on the Hawks. You know that's an Angolan that would probably join your team if he wasn't with the Hawks right now. Um, is there any other NBA players that are on the Angolan team right now, or is he is he really the only one? No, he was he's the only Angolan player in the, this time right now. He's the only Angolan player. But we got some players that play in the Greece. Greek. We got players that play in Italy, so they're really good. Is there anyone you're really excited to go against in Olympic qualifying? Anybody you really yeah, want to play against? Luca for sure. Luca for yeah, sure. why why him besides the obvious? It's just because I'm gonna be playing against I'm gonna be playing the same position as him. I'm going to be guarding him. And then just because it's, I mean, everybody want to go against him. He's, he's an he's a NBA uh, candidate MVP. So, I mean, yeah, I don't have no much to say about it. <laughs> so I got to say about him. Uh, I got one more for you, Sultan. What, what did they do in the spring? What did coaches do in the spring, K-State coaches? Uh, do to help you know your jump shot did it did they change it at all or is it basically the same shot you just putting up more of them um coach Weber I can say he changed a little bit just to take like my child was the kind of small when I really used to receive the ball and just shot it so like it's, it's quicker my form is quicker like leaving the shot is quicker we just take a bunch of shots a bunch of shots this spring I was really working on my left hand and my jump shots just that so I can really improve and get here and then really see the improvement. And then just like weight room wise, I was I was really going hard in weight room. And then just everything else. Yeah. But like I was really more focused on my jump shot, three point, and my left hand the whole spring with Coach Weber. Appreciate it, man. When the, when this is over, Selton, how much better of a player do you think you can be next season for the Wildcats? A lot better. I'm more, I can say I'm, I'm more, a more complete player. Player that can score really well. I will, I will show that I can say right now because we're not in the season right now. But I'll definitely go improve my scoring eyes. Definitely my defense because I'm already a good defender. I can, I can be a great defender. And then just somebody that can step up to guard the best player on the other team every time we can play. And then, yeah. 
And uh, one, one more one more random question for me. G given all your travels, how many languages do you speak? Three. Portuguese, so, uh, Spanish, and English. Let's see. But I'm learning a little bit French because you got some guys that play in French. They, I'm learning, you know, a little bit. Not really? really. What, which one's your, your favorite one? Which one are you best at? Which uh, language? Portuguese. This is my main language, Portuguese. Okay. Yeah. How, how long did it take you to pick up English? Eight months. That fast. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. when I came, when I came to the States, like my brother wasn't really in the States, so he wasn't speaking Portuguese, so he was just speaking English, so I couldn't learn faster. So that's one of the ways I really learned English faster, just talking to him, English. He didn't want to, he didn't allow us to speak Portuguese, even though he was in the same school, but we just speak English. Even the time when I came here, I wasn't understanding English at all. He was just speaking English, just making it hard for me. So I had to pick it up. Well, impressive. And uh, good luck over there. We're, we're rooting for you. Appreciate it. So one more for me. Uh, how much did you... Uh, kind of embrace the defensive stopper role. I mean, you've talked about defense quite a bit here. And um, is that something you take a lot of pride in now? Yeah, it's, just, it's like I had a quote that my high school coach gave to me, and I still have it with me, like in my wallet, in my room at Kansas State. It's like, he says, Why can't you be mad when, when, uh, why can't you be mad when a player? No, no, why can't you be mad when you don't score it? But why can't you be mad when a player scoring you? Basically saying, like, you, sh you should take more pride when a player scoring you than when you're scoring a player. So I take really pride on that because I don't really like when players score easy buckets. If you're going to score on me, it's going to it's gonna be a hard bucket. You got to really work for it. It can't just be an easy bucket because that really going to make me mad. So I really don't like that. So that's why I really take pride on defense. And I, yeah, I, always, I always been like that because I had really had um, – Coach Weber really is hard on defense because Barry Brown, because all the other players. So I just take pride on that because he keep motivating me to be the best defender every each and every day.